G'day, my name's Coach Steve and this is Coach's Corner. This week's question has come from Craig in Victoria and he's asked us, what intensity should I be running my weekend long endurance runs at? Well Craig, as a triathlon coach, it is the hardest thing to do to get athletes to actually slow down and run their weekend long endurance runs at the correct intensity. There's four very good reasons why you should be running them at lower than 80% and I'll go through each of those reasons and why right now for you. Reason number one is capillary development. Capillaries are the smallest of the body's blood vessels and they help deliver oxygen and nutrients to the muscle tissue. The greater number of capillaries you have surrounding each muscle fiber, the faster you can shuttle oxygen and carbohydrate into your muscles. Various studies have shown that capillary development appears to peak at between 65 to 82% of your max heart rate which equates to about 60 to 77% of your VO2 max. Reason number two is increasing glycogen storage. The body stores carbohydrates as glycogen in the muscles for usable energy. New research suggests that the brain can anticipate glycogen depletion and it will begin to slow your body down gradually. The more glycogen your muscles are capable of storing, then the longer it will take and the further you'll be able to go before your brain starts to slow your body down. Reason number three is increased myoglobin content. Myoglobin is a protein in your muscles that binds oxygen that enters the muscle fiber. When oxygen becomes limited during exercise, myoglobin releases the oxygen to the mitochondria for use in creating energy. So therefore, the more myoglobin you have in your muscle fibers, the more oxygen your muscles will have available to use to produce energy. Research has shown that the maximum myoglobin production within slow twitch fibres occurs between 68 and 82% of max heart rate. Reason number four is the development of mitochondria. Mitochondria are the microscopic organelles found inside each muscle cell. In the presence of oxygen, mitochondria break down carbohydrate, fat and protein into usable energy. Therefore, the more mitochondria you have, the more energy you can generate during exercise which will enable you to run faster and longer. In a 1982 study, Dudley found that the best strategy for slow twitch mitochondria enhancement was running for 90 minutes at 75 to 80% of your max heart rate. So there you go, Craig. I hope that's answered your question for you. You should run your weekend long endurance runs between 65 and 80% of your maximum heart rate for anywhere between 90 minutes and two hours. There's no added benefit of running at a higher intensity than this. That's just wasteful energy that will compromise your next quality session. That's all for now. Until next week, I'll see you later.